Hi guys, Henry with Shooting Star here and welcome to another episode of Shooting Star TV. Uh, today, DGLT from Freefall Data Systems. Uh, we just got them in, they're fresh out of the oven. Uh, we took them for a spin a little bit this weekend, past weekend, uh, but um, couldn't get much uh, due to weather, so we look forward to doing another field test. Uh, but here's a comparison in between uh, the DGLT compared to the most popular digital altimeter out there is, uh, that you might uh, already know, like the VSO2 from Larson Bruscard and the Altitude Atlas from Altitude. So um, let's see what's in the box. Let's flip the camera and see what's inside. All right, here it is. DGLT from Freefall Data Systems. Nice package box, made in the USA. see what we have all right here's the unit with comes with a velcro wrist mount we have some free fall data systems stickers and warning label and you have your USB charging cable so let's put that aside and let's check out the altimeter itself. So it's similar in size to an, uh, an atlas. If you put them side by side, like just like that, you can see that they're similar. Um, the indices, uh, it's about the same size, so it's really legible. Uh, good size numbers. Uh, same as the VSO, if you put them side by side, uh, you have a kind of similar screen size uh, as the VSO. Um, the casing, uh, it's uh, made of aluminium, so it's really rugged. These, um, you can uh, you can take it out of case. This is basically a housing. Uh, and then here's your USB port. You have two buttons. Okay, wrist mount, Velcro. There it is. So you can wear it over your suit or bare skin. Uh, I would like to see uh, like an elastic wrist mount, something kind of like this. That'll be cool. Um, I know they, these uh, Velcro straps can be a little bit uncomfortable um, because they're a little bit um, stiff, but uh, really, you know, versatile. You can just wrap it around over your suit or whatever. Uh, if you're wing suiting, also. You can use the uh, if you have if you have a uh, mud flap mount or a chest mount, you can use the the DigiLT along with a Digi pouch, which will hold either the Altitude Atlas or a VSO. So you can use that if you're wingsuiting as well, uh, including with the D Digi pouch on your um, wet mount and on your uh, mud flap mount or um, chest mount. So basically, the the unit's always on. You have five presets that you can uh, that you can select from. Basically, you uh, on those presets you can uh, f uh, set them for different types of jumping. Let's say if you're doing tandem, if you're doing FF, if you're doing uh, free flying, or you're doing wingsuit, you can select uh, each one and um, and change them. Uh, here you can see all the information regarding the last jump. Um, uh, it gives you temperature, it gives you the uh, current battery status and if you scroll through that it will give you the, the recent jump, um, your exit altitude, your opening altitude, freeze fall um, and canopy time and it will let you know what preset you're on. And the same for, it's kind of like it will keep all the track of all, all of your jumps and um, yeah, if you want to change that to altimeter, then it will go back to the altimeter mode if you keep it pressed like that. Oh, you change the preset to the to the last one. So um, you can have five different presets, and I'm, in a minute I'm going to show you how to work it with the app. You basically configure the altimeter with the um, Freefall Data Systems app, which you can download free for um, iOS or Android from the um, the 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 um, app store 
Um, and I'll show you how to work that in just a few minutes. But uh, the back of the casing here is aluminum. This is uh, really rugged plastic. Uh, so basically you have four screws here in the back that hold the unit inside the casing. So it's really, really rugged. Um, and I'll, in a minute I'll show you how it looks on the wrist. But let's go check out uh, how to configure it and how to work the app. Here's how um, you pair the um, DigiLT with your phone. Uh, you have to connect your, you have to activate your Bluetooth and all that. And for the unit to find your phone, basically you press these two buttons at the same time and, until that blue um, LED flashes. And then it should appear somewhere um, here in a few minutes. Uh, I have to greet, uh, just, just select here, there's a menu, uh, so you can see it, and then select the DigiLT, and it says not connected at the moment, so it's still, con you just have to click connect and sync, and that's the serial number for that unit, just click on that, and then you get that first menu with uh, settings um, and info. Um, when you do the settings, it will give you um, all your presets. Uh, I already set one up. Um, so basically, you click on that and then the general will display the whole menu. Um, what, what do you want the, the unit to show you and from what altitude you want it to activate the light bar and whatnot. And then if you click on the light bar itself, then you can start configuring uh, the alerts so if you um, let's say a thousand feet you want it to flash uh, you can select the rainbows uh, or you can just do like a steady light or blue or whatever you can whatever you want um, whatever combination you want if you want it to flash if you want to uh, rainbow pulses or sparkle and just put it one color so you can play around with anything, uh, like at a thousand feet, your altimeter will either beep or something. Uh, here you can configure a light, so you know a thousand feet, um, uh, it will start flashing. And then your other um, uh, warning uh, warning lights, uh, let's say at thirteen thousand, if you want it to flash, give you that signal, um, it will it will start doing that. And then. When, uh, when you go to the general setup, then you select for the free fall, for canopy descent rate, you can select one. Um, you can uh, select the free fall show precept time, temperature. So you get all that information, it will, it will be uh, logged on the unit. So basically that's a general idea of how you set it up and then you can select your different presets like the swoop, what do you want it to do, um, at this altitude, that altitude. Um, so yeah, that's it's really easy to use, really uh, user friendly, which is super good. Um, I'm, I'll throw it on the wrist so you can see how it looks real quick. Alright, so that's the altimeter on the wrist. Um, you can put it whatever orientation you want it. Uh, it's comfortable. I uh, The only thing I would comment is on the length of the strap. Um, probably you might want it a little bit longer, a couple of inches, one or two inches longer, uh, especially for um, those jumpers that have thick arms. Uh, they will want to uh, wear the um, alt altimeter up in their forearm and also using a suit uh, that will add a little bit more um, more bulk there. Uh, so yeah, a couple more inches, probably one, one and a half inches uh, slack would be great. And uh, also um, an elastic wrist mount, something like that with the similar type of housing, that will be great as well. But here it is, first look, uh, the uh, DigiLT from Freefall Data Systems. Uh, we have them in stock at Shooting Star. Uh, check them out at shootingstar.com and uh, if you have any comments or if you have any questions regarding the unit uh, feel free to shoot us an email at gear at shootingstar.com or give us a call um, and you also can uh, give us some comments uh, down below and uh, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can bring you more um, 
uh, good content about new gear coming out uh, or reviews. Uh, so you can you know check them out and then uh, check them out on our website. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one.